Hi there, it's me again. Uh, this is just a quick tutorial on how to get good reflections in your mirrors using the Box Reflection Actor. This mirror right here is using the Box Reflection Actor and you can see it's got a pretty good reflection. Uh, you can see there's some distortion if you get in some interesting angles, uh, but it's crisp uh, and it works well with the screen space reflection. You don't see a whole lot of blending. So the real trick is just to get your box to match up with the geometry of your room. Um, what this will get you uh, are really nice uh, corners. So what I'll do here is I'll move this guy and you'll see how things start to mismatch when the edges don't match up. So by getting it to match up, and you can do this uh, by eye, and what I do is I move it up in the side viewport and I watch over here in my perspective. Oops, I deselected it, getting back here. And I just move it up until I see the corners match. And I match it around and I can move it in this perspective and uh, get it right till the corners match up really nice. Yeah, that's looking good. Oh, that's not good. That's too far. Yeah, well, just get it right there. I'm also using the top view to see how it lines up. And you can see that lines up pretty good. Um, but you'll maybe notice that the floor doesn't, so we need to adjust the height. So what I'll do is, in the side view, I'll just adjust, I'll, I'll make a note in my head where this top is, and it's right here. And then uh, I'll just adjust my view so I can see the floor. And I'll adjust it down to where the floor looks good. That looks good there. So now I know I want the height be from here to up here and I measure using the middle click and I get 427 and I'm just going to set so, oh you can't see uh, 427 divided by 2 for the Z height there we go and now I can rematch the top the top's obviously more important because you're going to see that more often but there we go now it matches up pretty nicely uh, so yeah I'm gonna, let's do a uh, another one here. So I think we've got one here that's not set up quite right. So I've also turned off all the other reflections so that nothing else is in my way. Um, and you can do that simply by turning off on and off the visible tag. So I turn this one on and this one's set up pretty good but you can see that distortion on the on the roof and stuff is because we're not coming to the, the middle of the room. Uh, and matching up with the walls. So we can also just scale it. Scaly, scaly, scaly. And we want it to hit those walls. All right. And then let's see here. Back here we've got the bath. We want it to include all of that. I'm just going to move it back. Scaly, 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 scaly. Take a look in our mirror. All right, now we obviously need to hit change the, uh, the scale. Uh, so again, we know that it's from about here to up here. Uh, so 380 divided by 2-ish, somewhere in there. Already looking better. And we can move this guy until that reflection looks really good. And it's a little taller than I expected. You can see I actually need that guy to be much taller for that reflection to look right. Uh, so we're going to just go ahead and scale this guy. And sometimes you can't get it all looking right, so I just try and get the corners looking good right here. And right about there. That looks kind of okay. Uh, I'm just kind of eyeball it now. There you go. It's a decent reflection. Not perfect, but decent. Uh, certainly things like outside the door might look a little weird. Um, especially when the screen space reflections kind of mess with things. So, not quite as good as a planar reflection, but uh, better than no reflection. Uh, there you go.